Bad Batch, Season 2, Episode 2, Ruins of War. Let's dive in. Let's get to work. Welcome in everyone, it's Steven here from the Carbonite crew, here to talk about Season 2, Episode 2 of The Bad Batch. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out Tyler's review of Episode 1. That's all up there in the channel. Go ahead and check that out before we dive in here. Our episode starts off with our friends Tech, Omega, and Echo crash landing their cargo container that fell from that massive supply ship carrying all of Count Dooku's war treasure. Fell, that thing falls down out of the sky and crash lands on the side of a cliff, which I feel like is pretty impressive because that's not a very likely thing to happen. Anyway, the banter during all of this is super funny. Uh, tech is just killing me during all of this. This is definitely the, one of the best parts of the episode. Uh, they crash land this thing. Then they realize, hey, we should, probably shouldn't sit in this thing as it's teetering on the edge of the cliff. So they start to climb out. They do all of their fancy clone stuff and they get out of the cargo container. And in, in the midst of this, we have this issue where Tech has broken his leg. So he's not super mobile at this point. Um, but they run into another guy, uh, an old guy in the woods named Romar. Now, I think he comes off as a little bit sketchy uh, right at the beginning due to some of the like shots and stuff that they give him. But as we find out later in the episode, not too bad of a guy. Romar leads the clones back to his home. He's going to take them there, help them out, especially with Tech having a broken leg. He kind of needs some assistance at this point. While they're in the house, they're kind of just chit-chatting, talking about things. They start to d dig in a little bit into what it's like there on Sereno. We hear Romar start to talk about what it was like to live on Sereno with Count Dooku as the Count there, the ruler, right? As you can imagine, having a Sith Lord uh, be in charge of your planet, not a great situation. Twice the pride, double the fall. Uh, so they, they talk about that for a while. We hear kind of how Dooku was exploiting the people there on the planet and we get a little bit of that kind of insight from Romar that I think is really interesting and adds a lot to this episode. In addition to some of the like bigger picture stuff they talk about, we get some interesting interactions between Romar, this older man who seems to be living alone on this planet, and Omega, this young child. We see him show her this kaleidoscope toy and she kind of looks in that and she's like confused as, as what it does and he's like it doesn't doesn't do anything it's just a toy you play with it she clearly just like can't really grasp the idea of an object that doesn't have a use kind of like a heartbreaking moment as someone who has two kids there's a lot of joy that comes just from like getting to be a child so in this moment where we see omega not understanding what it means to be a child, it kind of hits you where you're like, oh, this is why we should care about her character. Like she's been through some difficult, difficult stuff. Meanwhile, while the, the three of them are with Romar in his house, we see the other two clones, Wrecker and Hunter, they are trying to get back to the rest of the group. And so they're just doing their Wrecker and Hunter things, running around the planet, shooting people. Wrecker at some point makes this like homemade bazooka thing, shoots down a ship out of midair. Super cool, by the way, that's awesome. I love Wrecker. Finally, at the end, towards the end of the episode, we, we get this moment in the house where Echo and Tech kind of look around and they say, where's Omega? You know, the, the kid that they kind of take care of and should probably be keeping a better eye on. Omega has disappeared. What ends up happening is she runs out of the house to try to go back to the cargo container. You see this moment where she admits that she, she she's blaming herself for all of their issues. And so she thinks that by going and grabbing this war chest, she's gonna be able to fix those problems. We have a moment there with Omega and Echo, and then they all kind of have this dramatic saving moment where they all end up back on the Marauder all together, and they hop skip off this planet to get away from Sereno. Nice little ending there where we get to actually see kind of what's happening in these characters. Um, it gives us an idea, I think, of what some of the like threads and plot lines that we're gonna see throughout the rest of the season are. It might hurt a little bit. I think it's gonna be kind of heavy, kind of intense. Lastly, we get a scene that is pretty intense between Admiral Rampart, who is the Imperial guy that's that's kind of in charge of getting taking care of these clones, between him and Captain Wilco, who is a clone, who is one of the captains in the Imperial Army that actually was 
um, chasing around the Bad Batch last season. And so we see Wilco and Rampart show talking to each other and saying, hey, uh, it was the Bad Batch that we thought were dead. We thought we fixed that problem back on Kamino last season. Turns out they're still around. Wilco is like, well, I guess we'll have to report this. And Rampart's like, but what if we didn't? And a clone who, you know, is a clone. I cannot lie on an official report. Anyway, Admiral Rampart, not super thrilled with that idea, shoots Wilco, episode ends. This gives us an idea, I think, of who Admiral Rampart is as a character, and big surprise, Empire guy, not a good guy. So uh, I think that is going to be kind of the antagonist of the show, from what it seems like. And, and I get it, and I kind of see how this overarching story of like, phasing out the clones from this Clone Wars era of Star Wars into what we know the Imperial, like the, the Empire to be in the original movies and, and everything that we've seen from this point on. So really interesting to kind of see what else happens here. It makes you start asking the questions of like, we see the Empire continue to live on. Uh, we do not see the Bad Batch further along in this timeline. And it makes you wonder, I think I kill him off in this show. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you tune in uh, later this week for the episode three recap and reaction that Tyler is going to be doing for us. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for now, may the force be with you.